Good health is a cornerstone of our well-being as individuals, communities and nations. But curative health care is expensive and difficult to sustain. In South Africa, as in many other countries, the healthcare system is overburdened by the need to treat illnesses that are preventable, illnesses that result from factors in the environment. Environmental health practitioners identify threats in the environment, evaluate the causes and quantify the risks and then interact with authorities and communities to control the problem. The role of environmental health is to minimize the causes of ill health at source and to improve quality of life, ensuring that people enjoy, amongst other things, pure food, safe and sufficient water, good sanitation, proper waste services and clean air. An EHP covers everything from very basic informal facilities like hawkers all the way to five-star hotels. EHPs have to be able to adjust to these different challenges. Our investments in good environmental health are also investments in primary health and, by extension, important ways in which we can reduce the burden of disease. Um, environmental health is my passion, mainly because I get to give back to the community. Um, it's extremely diverse, so in whatever form I want to give back, whether it's in terms of uh, waste or food or occupational health and safety, um, my contributions are seen in society. I get to put a smile on people's faces and then for them to see the result of what I do. The Cape Peninsula University of Technology has an environmental health department enthusiastically engaging with the challenges facing many of South Africa's nearly 50 million citizens. I have a lot of experience now in terms of you know, trying to find out um, what to do to improve a community, not just environmental health science, it's not just about st sitting in a, an office, I'm going to go back to my country, Namibia, and I'm going to try and implement this and make a difference in my community and Namibia as a whole. Human activity has a rapid impact on the natural environment, and as populations grow, environmental health risks grow exponentially. Environmental health has had to evolve into a diverse science, encompassing many disciplines and tackling challenges holistically. EH practitioners monitor water quality, help control and manage food safety, waste and pollution. They conduct health surveillance of premises and ensure the safe disposal of the deceased. They're also concerned with the control of communicable diseases and of vectors. These are creatures and organisms responsible for the spread of disease. The negative effects of unhealthy environmental conditions can be complex and far-reaching. My passion about environmental health is that I love working with the community and what environmental health is doing is giving back to the community because there's a lot of people out there unlike you and me because environmental health at the end of the day is all about prevention so we prevent this at the source where it starts we don't wait for a problem to generate and people end up in hospitals in clinics environmental health practitioners are not only able to identify ways in which our environments can be made safer they also educate and advocate Humanity's interaction with the environment will always present challenges to our health and well-being. Not only must we rectify problems as we identify them, we must also manage them in the long term. Efficient monitoring, effective strategies for improvement and constant control of the risks will ensure a healthier environment. This translates to healthier, happier and more productive people.